is over. Yeah. We're about 20 minutes late out of the room because we've been rushing around trying to pack. We've got plenty of weight left over. Like we're not over our limit weight wise, but we seem to be over our limit space wise. So it's been a bit of a yeah. jigsaw puzzle to fit everything in. Um, but yeah, so we're just gonna go and uh, check in with reception and then that's it but I have done a room tour albeit a very quick one because we were very late I was going to try and film this information comes up on the television which is really helpful um, and I was going to try and film that but because we had a young lady waiting outside to get in and clean we thought we can't hang around so I didn't get to film that unfortunately um, but I will put the room tour up separately I might have already put it up or it might be now but yeah it's been lovely staying here we wouldn't hesitate to recommend it to anybody would we yeah. it's amazing so um yeah anyway we are going to go and check in at reception um or check out at reception and then um we will make our way to disney springs for a couple of hours probably grab some lunch and then off to the airport so we'll catch up with you later my pocket today and he said oh, what's this so it was his little holder so I saw it's a camera a small camera so I pulled it out and he went oh you're an influencer <laughs> like Gary said I don't think we'd influenced anybody for anything ever right, right we've just arrived at Springs there we go yeah So we've got about um, an hour and a half, two hours. So we're going to try and get something to eat here and then make our way back to the airport. So I don't know where you want to eat, what you want to do, Gary. So we've come into the Polite Pig, which we've never done before. Um, we've often looked at it, we've never actually come in. So we've come in here um, and we thought we'd just eat something now just to tide us over for a bit. Maybe Gary can go to Starbucks and get a coffee afterwards. But it started already, honestly. He's such a pig, look. Yeah, yeah. Look, he's, he's trying to eat and like, disguise it. He's already tucking in before I have it. Because we said we'd share, because it's only lunchtime. Yeah, no, no, I don't want that piece. We said we'd share because it's just lunchtime. So we've got the crispy Brussels sprouts, which are done in like a, um, a maple sweet sauce. Then we've got some. Um, polite slaw, a jalapeno cornbread, half a chicken and some waffle fries. Very nice. So I'm going to tuck into those and I'll let you know afterwards what it's like. I'm sure you don't want to watch us eat. You certainly don't want to watch Gary eat because all he does is Yeah, it could be entertaining but not in a good way. Yeah, entertaining but not in a good way. We're, we're sitting up at the the bar stalls so we've got a view out come on watch the world so friendly and helpful in here so we've been sharing this which is plenty for both of us so they've just brought over some sauces so we've got a spicy barbecue which is their speciality um, a regular barbecue that's a barbecue ranch and that's a South Carolina special one so I'm gonna give them all a try oh look Gary has to go and dip straight away look. Have a try in a minute. Yeah. So I can honestly say that was absolutely delicious. The half chicken was really, really full of meat. Um, that was definitely plenty for two of us, wasn't it? Um, the waffle fries were really nice. The coleslaw was just really light and fresh and crispy. It just it, it was like a heavy going coleslaw. It was just really nice and crispy. And the Brussels, they're done in a whiskey caramel and I'm going to have to try and replicate them at home because I had some 
I had some bourbon maple ones in the Cheesecake Factory, and obviously these ones are um, whiskey caramel, so kind of a similar, similar vibe. So I think I'm going to have to try and replicate this when I get home because they are delicious. However, I've made the mistake of sharing them with Gary. Gary and Brussels, he loves Brussels, but I don't love him after he's had Brussels. Thank you. And I've just realised I've got to spend several hours cooped up next to him on an airplane. Yes, yeah, so hundreds of other people. Yeah, so good luck to everyone on an airplane this afternoon.
this time um, to the air pool. While we were at Disney Springs, something happened. So as you know, on this holiday, we thought about our little Pablo every day and he's been with us in spirit in so many different ways. And I found one of his poo bags, not full, a fresh clean one, in my pocket as I came out. And I've got them everywhere at home, but I found one in one of my pockets and I've had it tucked away in the drawer next to the bed. And as we were packing up to leave this morning, I just found it, I just shoved it in my shorts pocket. And when we went to Disney Springs, there was a poor young girl standing in the middle of the sunshine, in the middle of one of the concourses with her dog and lots of poo on the floor next to her. And she was on her phone desperately you know, doing something and looking very fraught. And I said to Gary, I think she needs a poo bag. So I just went up to her and said, do you need a poo bag? And she went, oh my God, yes, you've saved my life. She said that her mum had the bags on her and her mum had gone off and she couldn't get her and she was just messing her trying to get her back. So I feel like my little Pablo saved the day again and he was, he was there with us. So that was nice and I was chatting to her. It's a service dog that they've only had for a month and they keep for a year to train up. So, um, yeah, anyway, we're just coming up to some tolls now, so we need to get some cash out. building or somewhere else this time. service road there which is where we ended up right over the back there so and this is the road last time that we thought we needed to be on and couldn't be so exit 11 half a mile we're coming off that's us
was a mad panic. Oh, we've checked in. We, um, <laughs> for some reason, Gary took the wrong turn. We don't know how or why. It was, we got into the rental returns and then we got to that bit that was supposed to be Hertz and um, we ended up by Enterprise. I did follow the sign. Well, apparently he didn't. Apparently yeah, she said road, he was supposed road, to go upstairs. Yeah, the road forked. The road forked and it said Hertz to the right, so I went to the right and it ended up taking us somewhere else. Anyway, we eventually, after backing up and going down employee-only routes and God knows what else, and me getting out of the car and asking several people, we eventually got to the right place and handed their car over. It's always an adventure. <laughs> and then I was just happy to get a trolley, but apparently Gary got chatting to some guy who does a trolley service. <laughs> and then it was like a mad panic to try and like get all the bags on, and he was hurrying us, and I was like, I want to sort my bags out. Anyway, we've now just come through security, and because we've got cameras and bits and pieces. Oh, is that one going back now? It's the other side now. Oh my god. We're doing really well here. We just missed one by seconds. Now we're on the wrong side. I give up. Anyway, we're about to go to the satellite area anyway. So we'll catch you in a minute. Right, we're at gate 81, and we think that this is our our bird to take us home. So I've just got changed and Gary's just going off to get changed now and we're just we've just moved seats so we can see the plane. We're on Champagne Bell. There we go. Loading up. And the background taking off. Hey, look at that one.
low fat option on his meal and he was panicking because we went somewhere that for breakfast someone was given a banana as their low fat option and um, he was panicking he was just going to get a banana for his dinner but he's actually been told he's going to get chicken mashed potato and spinach so he's quite happy with that so but I'll show you the menu I don't know got the little um, Osmo pocket with us at the moment so I'll show you if I can so there is a starter of um, Caesar salad with grilled asparagus and a roll of butter pecan encrusted salmon with chive mashed potatoes asparagus and lemon caper butter I'm not sure how much of this you can see um, chicken tikka masala with pea and cumin pilau and curry roasted cauliflower or rosemary and goat's cheese gemelli pasta with spinach, shiitake mushrooms and roasted red peppers. I think I am going to go for the salmon. Dessert is an indulgent chocolate mousse cake and then you get cheese which is aged sheep's milk cheese and brie with grapes and dried apricot. So you can go up to the Wanderwall and get bits and in the morning when Gary gets his banana, <laughs> um, I can have a citrus French toast with mixed berries and vanilla creme anglaise, spinach feta and tomato omelette with roasted potatoes and cherry tomatoes, and cooked breakfast with sausage, crispy bacon, mustard scrambled eggs, home fried potatoes and parsley sautéed mushrooms, which I might indulge in. And you get breakfast pastry, seasonal fruit and Greek yogurt. And obviously you can have drinks as well. So quite a nice selection and on the drink front as well as things like um, the from the bar and the soft drinks and things Gary can actually have an oat latte. So quite happy with that. But right, I'm going to put you away again now and watch a film. So Gary's got his food and he's not a banana.
Gary's got his breakfast. Let's see if it's a banana.
Okay. 